Hi, this is Chef Brad with just a word about some of the nutritional parameters that I've been using over the years with the Nutrition Kitchen. First of all, I don't call it a diet because I think most diets are short-term programs to try to get to a bikini body, and this is not that. This is a long-term plan for uh, recalibrating your metabolism to a fat-burning mode and to support a robust immune function. Um, it's not got a name. It's not... Paleo, it's not keto, it's not Beano, it's not Brado, it's nothing that's going to go on the next uh, Amazon bestseller miracle way to eat book for next year. Um, it's, as I said, a lifestyle designed to help you go the distance and to match your health span with your lifespan and avoid the chronic disease and so much of the optional misery that people experience in the last few years, even decades of their lives. Uh, some of the backstory a long time ago now, quite a few years ago now, uh, I was approached in my personal chef days by a personal trainer who needed a nutritional system to go along with his training because his clients were um, getting the right training but not getting the right results and he knew why so that sent me down the whole rabbit hole and i was like going i know how to cook this food you want but what is this nutrition thing that you speak of so i went to uh institute for integrative nutrition spent a year being trained as a health coach and in the process studied over 200 dietary theories and in the end always kept coming back to something really pretty simple. Basically it's this, every meal, uh, just including a nice balanced amount of proteins, fats, and carbs. With regards to proteins, um, those can come from plant sources, nuts, legumes, that kind of thing. Mostly we think of that as animal sources, um, in which case I always use all natural and that means uh, no hormones, no antibiotics. Um, in terms of fat, uh, this is where we uh, have a really good example of how much we've been learning over the last, uh, especially a couple decades about nutrition. In this case, um, thank goodness and um, to nobody's dismay, the fat is bad craze is over, or it should be, even though a lot of people are having a hard time getting over it. Um, the fact is, dietary fat does not lead to body fat. In fact, you need fats um, to be healthy and to process carbohydrates correctly. And the reason so many, or one of the reasons so many Americans are overweight and sick is because of the low fat craze. Um, if you uh, if you're in the diet, if you're in the grocery store and you see something that says low fat or non fat, just put both fingers in your ears and run away screaming, because what used to be a perfectly good fat has probably been replaced by either sugar or some sort of chemical or Franken food to make it taste better. There's no reason for you to deny yourself. Uh, full flavor and your health is the best reason not to. Um, we think of fats, oftentimes we think of besides the natural uh, sources such as proteins and um, nuts and things is the oils we use. So I always focus on monounsaturated fats, extra virgin olive oil, coconut, avocado, those sorts of things. Um, never a trans fat. I don't, um, I don't deny dairy, although I don't use a ton of it. Um, but the fact again is that the reason so many people have dairy as well as other sensitivities to gluten, etc., is because less than 10% of us in America are metabolically healthy. If we were, we could process these things. But, um, with regards to carbohydrates, um, same story. We've sort of uh, replaced our fat is bad mentality with an all carbohydrates are bad mentality, which is insane because 
if you didn't have enough carbohydrates in your life, you would not exist. You need at least somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% of your nutrition to be carbs in order to have adequate amounts of energy. It's just that when we think of carbs, we think of highly processed, refined carbohydrates like sugars and white flours. Um, what needs to happen and what happens with you know, my food is you get most of your carbohydrates from vegetables as well as some from whole grains. Um, don't, I don't ever use, you know, processed, refined sugar, although I do have a small amount of sweeteners such as agave nectar and pure maple syrup, and I rarely use white flowers, as I've mentioned. Um, so that's proteins, fats, carbs, you know, a balance with every meal. Um, this is not a way of eating that's designed, um, around what is prohibited because you know pro prohibitions don't really work either in my experience but i do shy away mostly from processed foods um you won't find anything or very few things from you know like uh boxes or cans on my uh, kitchen or on my counters with the you know exception of some things like maybe legumes or canned tomatoes in their own juices or maybe you know artichokes in water or something um and that's about it it's pretty simple it's not a short-term program like i said it's a long-term um lifestyle process based on two foundational principles the first most important is you can eat well and eat healthy uh, you do not have to sacrifice enjoying your food for your food to support your wellness and the other one, which is optional, but fun, is the 90-10 rule. You eat well 90% 90, 90 of the time, and you can go ahead and enjoy a little fun food once in a while. Because I love me, my biscuits and gravy, and my fried chicken. And yes, I do have a backyard pizza oven. So, go. Go ahead, be well, love your life. Love your food. Love up on people as much as you can. See ya.